This video is brought to you by Spring and Vine, which is a shampoo bar brand you can find at Target. Hey guys, it's Shelby, and today we're starting a new series, which is going to be similar to a previous series I had here on my channel known as I Tried Zero Waste Grocery Shopping at, and the whole goal of that series, and also will be this series, is making sustainable living seem more accessible. Because you guys, the people who watch this channel, live all across the world, I often talk about things that you can buy online, and while that is accessible to more people, it's also kind of limited because I know there are so many people out there who really like to be able to walk into a store and purchase things. Not to mention the word accessible has to do more than just if you actually have it near you. It also has to do with can you get to it if it's near you? Also, can you afford it? So many different things go into accessibility and I'm really interested in trying to address those issues here on the channel. And let me also say upfront that to start living a sustainable lifestyle, you do not have to buy anything but there are quite a few things that can help you with your journey a lot of tools and things that i personally use that i always highly recommend and some of those things they carry over at target all that to say that today we're going to head to target to see what sustainable swaps they have that would be more accessible for so many people because target is a pretty widely accessible place to shop so let's get going weird coming here and filming myself in public in general but it's a whole different level of weird when I have to project my voice enough to get it to you past this mask anyway just came over to the shampoo aisle to see if they had any forms of shampoo that were you know lower waist and this one is by spring and vine scalp soothing tea tree and mint I am actually partnering with spring and vine on this video because I'm so excited look at this they have shampoo bars that are accessible at Target do keep in mind if there's a target near you and you're looking for a lower waist shampoo option, Spring and Vine has got you. I think this series is gonna be a lot more fun for me than the Zero Waste Grocery Shopping one because that one gave me anxiety. Here we're just looking for things that are eco-friendly. They have my Bay, as you all know, native deodorant, but they don't have the plastic-free packaging at Target yet. I don't know if they're gonna. We won't get this since we do have the plastic-free version at the house, but noted, Bay is at Target. All right, back home. We're going to do something that I've probably literally never done before on this channel, and that is uh, a whole video. <laughs> I'm just gonna grab some water real quick. Okay, so we're just gonna do a really casual haul from the floor here because right now, it's a long story. I'm gonna go into really detailed stuff about all the shit I've been through with this house on my secret newsletter this upcoming Monday. I share secret videos every Monday if you guys didn't know over there. And I'm just going to break down all they've been through with this house because it has been crazy but right now my kitchen is kind of in shambles and I just couldn't be bothered to like set up the camera over here because I just it's madness happening all around right now. But I did want to say that my intention when I went into Target was just to like walk around and see what they had to offer in the sustainable like items field. But as I was walking through, I thought it would be really nice to be able to purchase some of these things so that I didn't have to talk so much to the camera at Target. It makes me incredibly nervous so that I could come home and talk about these things with you here. But also because I feel like a lot of these things are things that I've talked about in the past and a lot of you have expressed interest in. Also something else I wanna drive home before I talk about these things. You do not have to buy literally any of them. These are just suggestions, things that I have truly 
truly use and really really like and a few things that I'm gonna be trying out but I'm talking about them because they are better options than their more wasteful or more resource intensive counterparts and I want more people to know that there are better options out there better choices that we can be making right not to mention a lot of these things you can get secondhand not all of them not like the body care products probably don't do that but if you can find other things like we're about to discuss secondhand that is always the most sustainable option so let's get into it first up are these spring and vine shampoo bars like I said probably can't get body care items secondhand. Don't recommend. But it is really cool to see options like this available at places like Target, which are accessible to so many people. I'm sure many of you are aware of the benefits of using a shampoo bar, but why I particularly think this is so cool that it's at Target is that we're not only now targeting people who know that shampoo bars are less wasteful and can buy them online, we're now able to give the option to someone who's just browsing the shampoo bars and might stumble across this much less wasteful alternative. So basically one of these bars equals one bottle of shampoo which saves a ton of plastic right there. 95% less plastic to be exact and also 90% less water. So if you guys didn't know, a lot of the shampoos out there that like everyone uses that come in plastic bottles are mostly water. Like the actual formula that's within those bottles is incredibly, incredibly small and then it's like 90% water. It's crazy. Not only because there's a plastic bottle encasing that water, but also because the shipping that's associated with shipping all these bottles everywhere is a lot more intensive when you're shipping mostly water. Not only that, but a lot of those shampoos that you can find on shelves typically in plastic bottles have a lot of ingredients that maybe you would want to avoid. So these shampoo bars right here are PETA certified, cruelty free, and vegan. No sulfates, parabens, silicones, or dyes. I mean, how cool is that? Let's open one. This is actually the particular one that I have been using because I found it when I left really, really quickly for a family emergency back in June. I purchased this from Target. You would know that if you're, again, following my secret newsletter. But this is the one I've been using because I really like minty smells and all that kind of thing. So this one is tea tree and mint and I mean it smells like what you would expect just a beautiful tea tree mint dream. Plus this is a scalp soothing one and if you guys catch me sometimes in my videos sometimes my scalp needs some soothing I'm just saying. But they also have the volumizing one, the balanced clean one, and the moisturizing one. Huge thank you to Spring and Vine for partnering with me on this video. I'm just so I really am so stoked that options like this are becoming more accessible to more people and also for people like me when A traveling with a shampoo bar is a lot easier and B when I found myself in a real pinch earlier this year this came in handy. So check them out at Target. Okay next up in body care that I'm super super pumped about is this. What? So I found this a couple months ago too, but there is this new brand at Target called Hand in Hand. Well, maybe it's not new at Target. I don't shop at Target a lot, but I've never seen this before. They have a hand sanitizer and a soap that come in aluminum packaging. Tippy is just wandering around behind us. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. Oh. So yeah, these are called Hand in Hand Sustainable Suds, and then it says it's dye-free gel, 62% alcohol, vegan and cruelty-free. We love to see it. And if you don't know why I'm super excited about these in particular is aluminum is a much more recyclable product than plastic. Aluminum is less energy intensive to recycle than to make new, which is kind of the huge problem with recycling, right? If something isn't profitable, it's really hard to be able to make it long-lasting and become a real viable option in the market, whereas recycled aluminum is a very, very viable option. So for people who don't have access to refills, this is this is a great option and to see this at Target Especially during this time where like people are buying a bunch of hand soaps and a bunch of sanitizers It's great to see this on the shelves and I just think the bottles themselves are really cute, too And like that's the really exciting part of this is you I think I have a horse running around my house but as I was saying, the really important, exciting part of this for me is that the average person could walk into Target wanting hand soap or hand sanitizer and find these. And that's just like so fucking exciting to me. So had to get these. I also wanted to say that Pila now has some of their cases at Target, which is so freaking exciting. And if you guys are ever there and you need one, check them out. I do have a discount code with Pila themselves, so you can save money if you buy it online. But if they have the case you want in store at Target, it's incredibly accessible. Again, someone walking into Target Target to get a phone case could see a compostable case and start on their sustainable living journey that's why things like this are so exciting because these items could be the launching point for someone to like start advocating for your local public policy and like I don't know go to school for environmental science and be the next person who like discovers some crazy technology to save us all I don't know but seeing things like this in Target are very exciting so this is something that if you could find one secondhand highly recommend I have several clean canteens that I have bought secondhand but I love clean 
Canteen is a brand and when I saw this in store I thought my clean canteen has just honestly added so much value to my life over time yeah at Target um, obviously if someone's going in to get something a water bottle coffee cup they have a ton of reusables there most stores do this is not super unique but the fact that they have clean canteen is pretty unique because clean canteen is a magnificent brand like I'd love to work with them. But it's really cool to see Clean Canteen on shelves because they are certified B Corporation and part of 1% for the planet. So seeing more legitimately good brands on Target shelves makes me very happy. Speaking of B certified 1% for the planet members, this is Stasher Bag. This is my favorite absolute die hard Stasher Bag fan right here. I have tried other bags in the past, reusable silicone bags, and I always try to give them away to my friends and family, not my Stasher Bags, the other brands. Because nothing compares to the quality that Stasher Bag is. I still have the first one I bought freaking years ago, and I love this brand. Like I said, also certified B Corporation, part of 1% for the planet, and it's really great to see things like this on Target shelves. Because if someone's going to buy a single use pack of plastic bags, Maybe they find a stasher bag and they switch to this instead. And yes, there are several things you can use in your home instead of going and buying silicone stasher bags. You can reuse your plastic Tupperware. You can use whatever Tupperware you have. You can reuse jars. You can reuse a lot of things. But I'm just telling you, for me around this household, because I'm not the only person who lives here. Other people live here. Other people who used to buy some of these plastic bags and stopped because of these. I'm a huge fan of stasher. I think these, do they have a lifetime warranty? I feel like they should because they just last for so long. But they are dishwasher safe, microwave safe. I mean, I, I just love these, can love them enough. So if you're a fan of this channel, you'll know that I'm just, I'm just gonna say it. I'm the first one to have discovered the Misto on the internet. Don't come for me. I found my Misto like four years ago, asked for it for Christmas, would never go back, still use it almost every single time I cook. So when I saw that they had this at Target, I was very excited. I'm a little bit confused about Misto and who they think they are because I know that they've become popular over the years because they're a reusable alternative to spray aerosol cans. And before anyone comes for me and says you don't need spray oil, no, you don't. But if you're someone who uses it, which I do, to give less oil on the pan or to use it in baking, in many other situations, just whatever. If you use those things, this is a reusable alternative. And the reason I said I was confused about Misto's marketing is there's nothing that says it's reusable on here. Like they're just marketing it as gourmet. Whereas I feel like if they really leaned into the, the reusable aspect of this, it would be great. These are my favorite brand of shoes right now, other than I guess my Allbirds. I don't buy shoes very often. I really only wear like two to three pairs of shoes. Like you guys know, my brown boots that I've been wearing for years, pretty much all I wear in the fall and winter. And then the summer, I was always wearing my Birkenstocks, but they shouldn't be worn in the rain. And so I'm, I'm trying not to do that. I get them wet and they're also kind of falling apart. I'm gonna get them repaired soon. But aside from that, I talked about Okabashi in one of my recent like sustainable brands you should know. I'll link that video right here because it's full of great brands, but this is one of the ones, and it's because they have a closed loop system. So they have their own recycling system where you can send back your shoes. You also get a discount when you send them back so that they can recycle them into new shoes. They're made from sustainable materials, ethically made in the US. I mean, nothing bad to say about these shoes. I actually literally discovered this brand because of the family emergency I mentioned earlier. I needed a pair of shoes for the event that I had to go to that I didn't have any. And um, I bought some Okabashis that were closed toed like flats. So, so good. So cool to see shoes like this at Target. Again, for people who are not necessarily sustainably minded, but maybe make a better choice. And also for when you're in a pinch and need to pick something up, you fall in love and find one of your new favorite brands at Target. How cool is that? Also, yes, I have big feet, don't judge me. In honor of back to school, um, also they had some recycled notebooks. What I thought was pretty cool is that this is actually made by Mead, which is one of the most popular, you know, notebook brands, school supplies brands in general. Um, it's made from 100% recycled materials, ink made of veggies, mostly compostable, and they even specify everything except the tape, like this is a really, really good option for back to school. If you don't already have a notebook sitting around, I know a lot of us have notebooks sitting in our house, but if you need to purchase a notebook, this is a great option and it's a target. Just going to reiterate one more time that you don't need to go out and buy any of these things, but if you're in the need for one of these things, they're literally available to you at Target. And also for the average person that has a million things going on in their life and sustainability isn't their number one priority, if a busy mom walks into Target and wants to make a better like choice, a more sustainable choice, this is literally on the shelves for her to do so. 
which is just so cool to me. Those are all the sustainable things I picked up at Target today. Tell me if you prefer to be able to go and pick something up in the store or if you're okay with purchasing things online. Because for me, I typically try to go with the most sustainable option and it's kind of hard to know what that is, especially when you're purchasing from brands that are sustainable, but that means they're usually kind of small and you can't just go into Target and pick a lot of them up. So you end up purchasing them online. Um, for instance, like Earth Hero sells a few of the brands that we talked about today but obviously you can't like touch or feel that item before you get it to you and that's okay with me generally speaking but i know there are plenty of people out there that that makes them kind of nervous so i just want to know in the comments are you more apt to purchase something that is a more sustainable option if you can just walk into target and see it or if you're okay with purchasing things online i'm really curious about that um, and exploring like individual choices and like how best to help you guys, I guess. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, until next time, you cannot do all the good that the world needs, but the world needs all the good that you can do. Bye, guys.